Okay, vascular lesions. So just like in adults, right, you can have cortical and medullary vein thrombosis, but uh, neonates are more uh, predisposed to prothrombotic conditions from the birth, from sepsis, from hypoxia, ischemia, all of these things. So you really want to make sure that this is a high level suspicion because uh, I think I think this case was called trauma um, by an adult radiologist, right? And it's like, yes, there is diffuse hypoxia and there's a lot of uh, peripheral but I mean, there aren't any subdurals, right? And, and it's like, what is this? So basically there was diffuse venous sinus thrombosis. And then you had secondary arterialization because if you get the impaired venous outflow over time, the pressures build up and then you get little petechial hemorrhages, right? The capillaries rupture. And then the pressures get so high for venous outflow that you start to get secondary arterialization. So there's no, you know, arter large artery distribution because the entire brain is infarcting, right? From a longstanding venous thrombosis. So very important. Uh, to remember this diagnosis.